you hold the distinction of being the final opponent for Chris Benoit before the tragedy. I would not call that a distinction. Obviously, it is. Um, and and, and none but I will say it was a, it was an honor. It was an honor. Yeah. To, yeah. I I was trying to figure out like the right word for it, depending on because of the circumstance. Well, I mean, I think I think you're still correct in saying that because it is. I mean, unfortunately, I think it's an unfortunate distinction of being uh, the last one to wrestle Chris Benoit, and um, it it was, you know, what happened afterwards aside, it was a highlight of my of my time there. What was kind of going through your mind um, that day, you know, that you got to wrestle him? And then later that week when you hear the news, because that was just devastating. It shot yeah, the whole locker room. Well, I'm, it was devastating to me because I had formed a great um, bond and friendship with Chris. Um, and, and by no means on the level of, of Chavo Guerrero or Eddie or it, not, not like that. Obviously those guys had been there, but Chris came over to ECW and he's going to take me under his wing. That's why, you know, initially he didn't want to come. Um, he felt, you know, like he was big, you know, like a lot of them did. I don't want to, um, it's a demotion or whatever. Like, nah, bro. And he, he said um, that he wanted to come over and he wanted to help elevate me. And um, so we, we formed a bond. I remember when I saw the photos of the aftermath of the things that happened. Uh, if you ever seen the photos, as far as in the book, I read the book of mm -hmm. Chris and Matt. Yeah. You'll see on his desk, the Fred Sanford season one and season two DVD collection. Mm. I don't know if you know Fred Sanford, uh, Sanford and Son. Yes, yes. Chris Benoit was such a huge fan. And I got that for him on his birthday. I wow. pulled him in the and gave it to him, you know, just between me and him. And the dude broke down crying. He was that embarrassed that I remembered his birthday. That weekend leading to, um, into that event, I wrestled, into that last match, I, I, I was paired with Chris Benoit. And we were in Georgia, and um, before going to North Carolina, I think that was the last match. We were in Georgia, and there's Nancy, and there's and there's David, and I'm playing. I'm I'm chasing David around. Every time I saw a woman, as I like to call, and when I see, her, I go woman, oh woman, want to marry me now? That's what they were doing. But she was so cool to me too, and they it just seemed everything just seemed unreal when that moment finally happened. Because it, it did not, none of that showed, you know, to the, to, to the naked eye. I remember, um, you know, when Eddie Guerrero had passed away, like a couple of years before that, you know, Chris was just in tears. You know, everybody was upset when Eddie died. Um, everybody was upset when Chris and Nancy and yeah. all of them died. Yeah. And we didn't even, I don't think we even knew when the news broke, we didn't know that Nancy and David was gone. We just knew Chris had passed. It was actually Daniel. His son's name was thank Daniel. You, thank you. Daniel, thank you. So yeah, little Daniel. Um, so David's the older boy, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Sorry about that, David. But yeah, Daniel. So we we we're just thinking that Chris has passed. We don't we, we don't even know anything about the others. Not that I remember, so it was it was a real unfortunate thing, and um, it just tore the whole locker room up. We all was we were in Texas, and we were all called out there. And remember, uh, this was during the probably one of the craziest storylines that Vince has ever had, where mm -hmm. Vince McMahon dies and gets exploded in the limousine. So it yeah. was it was very eerie. It was because that day was supposed to be the funeral of this big man. We all were going in looking at a quote unquote casket for Vince McMahon, who had just exploded the previous week. And that's the same day 
that the news break about Chris Benoit. I remember um, when I turned on Raw that night, what, expecting that tribute show for Vince, uh, for Mr. McMahon, um, and just seeing like a graphic go up that says uh, "In memory of Chris Benoit," I was like, "Wow!" I was yeah. like shocked. Did you yeah. guys know? Did you guys know how how far in advance? How soon in advance? In advance, did you guys know that? He died before you guys went on the air. Don't the, the day of the show. Like we at were, what? But at like what hour? Uh, again, it had to be around uh, maybe around about four o'clock. We're we're in Texas, so maybe okay. around about four o'clock. They bring us all together. Maybe 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 two o'clock. Maybe might be more accurate. That's when the news had broke, and we all kind of they gathered us all together. We had a meeting, and they broke the news. Because that 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 uh, show was supposed to be, you know, full of people, and 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 they just closed down the whole arena just to hold the tribute show. Exactly. The reason they went black, uh, as you were, were referring to, that's what I called it, going black. Uh, with everything that they had planned, uh, with all the people that they had, you know, the reason being is because it was such an emotional time, Stanley. And out of respect to the talent that Benoit was, uh, they gave everyone the opportunity to leave, stay yeah. or leave. I mean, you know, it was it was that uh, challenging. So a lot of people left, and because they because they uh, Vince had made the determination that it will be a Chris Benoit tribute show, and. Um, Obviously, when more things came to light, uh, I, the very next day, I believe, on ECW, uh, that's when, you know, and certainly on SmackDown, I remember, it, you know, uh, Vince acknowledged that all things would be pulled um, due to the lack of information, um, that his name would never be mentioned again on that program. Unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, it's just sad to hear that um and sad to hear about everything that went down uh that 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 hor just just horrifying horrifying yeah, yeah. It, it it is um and obviously there's so many even to this day uh so many conspiracy theories but that's with everything um but you know my my thoughts you know I, again i've talked about this uh, well back when, just one time only on my own podcast, but my thoughts and um, prayers are obviously with everybody mm -hmm. yep. uh, involved um, to those who lost their lives uh, unjustly, unfairly. And, you know, you just, you don't want to think it, but it is what it is. And, you know, we just learn from, from it and move forward. That's what you got to do. 